Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of The Binding of Isaac with your host, Julie Slow Wolf. We're not doing well. <laughs> the Lost and I have not been getting along recently, although the blind pickup of uh, Isaac's heart there kind of... The last run kind of fucked us more than anything else. But, you know what? This is another run, it's another chance at redemption, and we're getting better at this every time. It literally does nothing for us, so I guess we leave. Um, but it's another chance at redemption right here, right now. The funk so shit. Oh, that was the best dodge of all time! I thread the needle like it was no one else's business. Okay, so what's the deal here? Let's not suffer from the last episodes, okay? Let's not suffer from the last technically four runs, but two actual runs that we've had. Um, let's just focus on the good. We did play okay in the last one. We got fucked because Isaac's heart decided to just show up and take us up the bomb and... We were not ready or willing. It was... I mean, I said yes at the time because, you know, I was like, hey, let's take a look at this item. But then it just, it wasn't very good, you know? Like, I wanted to try it, and it just turned out to be something that I didn't like at all. And that's fine. You know, it happens. There are some times where you're going to do something that you're not going to like. Butt stuff might be one of it. But in this particular case, the stuff that we tried, Isaac's Heart, was not one of the things I would like. I would not like that ever again to be perfectly frank with all of you. So we're not going to do that again if we ever have the option to say no to that. And uh, if we ever have the option to not say no to that, then we get to, you know, accuse the game effectively of criminal negligence, honestly. You know, of fun, which is what the game's job is. Okay, so we got a little horn here. So it's again, it's not the most difficult fight on the planet. Um, little horn is relatively weak in terms of his HP. He can blow himself up. Like that, beautiful. That speeds up the fight considerably. All you need to do is occasionally deal with tears, and you should be okay. Please blow yourself up. I would do anything if you blew yourself up. Some more. One more time. One more time. Don't get caught by that. I'm not sure if I can because I'm flying, but if there's a... Okay, one, two, three. Good. Da! As a normal character, I can imagine how this might be a little bit more difficult. Because the, the Lost feels really fast to start with. Okay, Pentagram. That's a good item. I'm actually happy with that item. Uh, down to the next floor, I guess. Nothing else here. We have no consumables to really do anything with. There's nothing really else to play. All the rooms have been uh, explored. Yeah, here we are. Curse of the Blind. So we can't see the items we're getting, huh? Is that the uh, is that the deal? Well, if we get Isaac's heart again, then uh, I'll probably just like cry in the corner, honestly. There's not a... Uh... There's not much reason to do anything else at this point. <laughs> if Isaac's heart shows up, then we're just gonna have a bad time. Okay. Beautiful. Take both of them. I don't even care. Mom's knife. Beautiful. Book of Sin. I mean, it's better than the better than the other one for now. Okay. So we have Mom's knife. It's not best in all situations, but it is an incredible damage increase. Uh, and if we can find anything at all that resembles a consumable, Book of Sin can really put that to good use. The lovers. I mean, it's actually useless, but whatever. Um, okay. Get our charge up for Book of Sin, and maybe we'll get the keys that we need to make this floor really pop off. You know? That would be the best. If Book of Sin could prove itself a useful item, not the first time in Isaac history. Like, it's, it's been helpful. And in the past, I've actually really enjoyed... Um, there we go. Keys, nice here. I really enjoyed Book of Sin because Book of Sin has occasionally given me the HP I need to survive a run. Like, it's good. Not Isaac's heart. It's Virgo. It's about as useful as getting punched in the face. But, um... When you're made of adamantium. About as useful as being punched in the face by a normal human being when you're made of adamantium. That's about how useful this item is. Okay. Got one. Oh, con. Thank you. Hello. And you're dead. Okay, Book of Sin gave us a heart. Can't say I'm thrilled about that. Go upstairs. Grab the battery charge. Bookstein gave us another battery charge, which gives us a scent. Well, you know, I, uh, the scent being a lockup is nice, actually. So that that works out okay. Uh, and we have one key to do what with, exactly? I don't know. I All I know is that I know exactly where our secret room is. It has got to be right next to us. There's no sense or buts about that. It should be right in front of us here. What? With the room layout like that? Are you kidding? Those rooms are actually useless, and they... Okay. Okay! 
Whatever game, see if I care. Okay, let's keep going along here. We got a big room ahead of us. It's the last room before we get to, uh... Whoop. Uh, how big is Mom's Knife, anyway? Okay, it's big enough that we can start using it if we want to that way. I, I would not recommend it, though. Mom, Using Mom's Knife the way that I just did as a melee weapon, as the Lost, seems to be in bad... It seems to be a bad choice. I would argue against what I'm doing. Uh, the shop is not really worth it, so we're going to save our keys for now. Let's go into our boss fight and see what, what happens here. Monstro. I mean, Monstro's already almost dead, so that's that's a good sign. And he gave us HP. Old bandage, HP up. What else is new? Okay, we got a scent. Not a bomb. And our deal with the devil was uh, mom's knife and the uh, book of sin that we currently are holding. So it's good enough by me. We have deal with the devil precedent. We're in a reasonable situation where we can turn this around quickly if we need to turn things around at all. And I don't think we need to. Honestly, mom's knife plus uh, holy mantle is effectively all you need to win any run. Honestly, I mean, that's... Pretty much what the uh, high the uh, high rule challenge is, you know, you get a you get a protective shield, you get mom's knife, and then it's just go nuts. No items, no item rooms for you. You just make do with shops and such, and uh, get down to Mega Stand and kill him with with uh, with mom's knife. And don't get me wrong, that challenge took me a couple of tries, but at the same time, it's one of those things where it just kind of illustrates to you the power of this item. Like it's so good. Okay, got rid of both of those. I, that was questionable dodging on my part. I could have maybe argued for some different routes to take there, but uh, we managed. Now the key here is totally fine by us, and we'll go into this big room to finish off our Book of Sin charge, which just barely ends up being the right choice to make. We got hit. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Don't get shot now. Good. Book of Sin gives us a pill, which we're not going to take yet. Um, I can see forever. Actually useful for this floor. So that was an orange and yellow pill. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, where are some items I could use? Well, uh, bombs would be nice. I could use, uh, I don't know, anything that uh, increases our damage, as per usual. I would like nine lives. I would like, you know, the world handed to me on a silver platter. Got a worm here. He's dead. I, I'll be honest with you. There's a lot of things that I, I know I should want, but Forget Me Now is one of them, actually. I'm actually very tempted by Forget Me Now. Uh, Godflesh. Okay. Doesn't end up doing very much for us, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hold on to Book of Sin for a little bit longer. I thought I had a bomb for a second there. I was all like, my, my brain was all like, hey, use that bomb. And my finger was like, okay. And then, uh, you know, when nothing happened, um, you know, that effectively showed exactly what happened there. No, nothing nothing at all. The luck up here is fine. Kill the flies. It's not hard. Okay. Oh, hello. That came from behind. That was bad. Don't get shot again, please. Good. That should be the end of it. Thank you. And gave us a key. Okay. Empress. Uh, and this thing. You know what? It's, it's worth playing a little bit. We had a luck up. Maybe we'll get... um. We'll get down to 15 cents. And if we don't get a good trinket by then, then I guess we'll leave it alone. And uh, Spirit Heart does actually nothing for me, game. If you could just... Okay, you gave me a rune. And a card. What does the rune do? Hagalaz. Hermit. Okay, we'll take the Hagalaz. Okay. Might as well pop it here. Did nothing. And uh, take the Hermit with us. Because the Hermit is a teleport card, and teleport cards are godly. Okay, lots of bombs. I mean, now we've got bombs, so I kind of feel bad uh, taking what we did, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, battery baby. Battery baby here is fine. It's not like we have PhD on this run anyway, so uh, make do with what we've got, I suppose. Besides, battery baby's nice because, it, like, you know, it drops batteries all over the place. It occasionally freezes enemies, and the freezing enemies part here is the really strong part about this familiar. Like, it's one of the reasons why I definitely rate it uh, pretty highly, all things considered. Battery here. Gives us a bomb. Alright. Was there anything that I needed to use a bomb on? I don't remember. All I need... All, oh, yeah. In the in the secret room. We'll get back there. Don't worry. I mean, unless if we die here, which is a very high chance. Uh, uh, mm. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try this. If I see a bomb headed my way and I get a little scared, then I will uh, run like a little, like a little bitch and teleport using the hermit card. 
here predisposed to us. Um, if you could come back and die, thank you. All right, boss fight. Uh, this should not be hard, unless if it's the frail. Okay, the frail is one of the tougher bosses for the lost, I find, because he has so many fucking projectiles. Okay, so we got PJs. It's actually useless. Uh, and a black heart, which is actually useless. So let's go back, take the forget me now. We're gonna say goodbye to boss rush, I think, uh, with this particular play, but that's fine by me. Take this, bomb both these assholes with our uh, now many bombs. Take that, hello, take that, beautiful. All right, and um, yeah, there's nothing else left to explore, let's take this. All right. Let's try that. Round two. Hop in here. It's not too scary. Just a couple of pills. We're gonna avoid taking them, but it's just a couple of pills. Okay. Jumper. He's dead. Very, very fastly dead, I might add. It's worth mentioning that we actually do have really good damage, thanks to Mom's Knife. As well as, just keep your, keep your nerve. Keep your nerve. Be the iguana. Okay, we kept our nerve. Nice. That was a, that was a lot of decent dodging. And luck, mostly luck, but decent dodging as well. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. No space for our item anymore. Means that we're on the on the prowl for one. Yeah, shit. Let's try it. Got some money, I guess. Wah! Okay, you know what? We should be able to take this out. This 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 is easy enough. If you get hit, then teleport. But you should not be getting hit on this fight. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There we go. Did you know that lemons originated from Italy? Apparently that's where they came from. And I gotta say, the Italians, as far as fruit go, that's not the best fruit to have spawning in your region. Don't get me wrong, I love lemons. Lemonade is probably one of my favorite drinks. Lemon flavored gelato uh, or ice cream is, are, is my absolute 100% go-to during the summer when it's really hot. But there's something to be said for a... Uh, Okay, let's not get risky. There's something to be said when uh, the fruit in your region consists of tomatoes. Oh, fuck. Consists of tomatoes and lemons. No, those are not delicious fruit, right? Not on their own. Like, they're great with other stuff. Lemons are fantastic when they have a pairing to go with that is sweet. Because sourness on its own, particularly that level of it, the only thing that you're going to use that for is effectively, you know, avoiding scurvy. Oh, fuck. Not bad. Dark bum. I mean, effectively also just a player killer. But, hey, you know what? I'll take it. It's not like it's uh, it's not like it's Isaac's heart or anything. Okay. Alright, let's see what our shop contains here. It's a 15 cent item. I mean, we're going to bomb this guy. Not our donation machine. We've been mean to our donation machine, and I'd really rather not be. What we get? Car battery! Double charge! That'd be great, but I need a spacebar item first game. I mean, any spacebar item at this point might even do. Like, a spider bite? Sure. I'll take, uh... I'll take, uh... Spider web or whatever it's called. <sighs> Why not? But at the same time, uh, you know what would be also sweet? Uh, Krampus's head... Would be okay. Like, at this point, I can take a Krampus deal with the devil and be happy with it. Um... And that's not something I say all the time. Like, that's something I say on a rare occasion. When Krampus is like, you know what? Here, I'll give you my head and it'll work out just fine. Forsaken, huh? Don't get me wrong. This isn't as scary as it could be. Especially because we killed him so fast. No deal with the devil, huh? Pageant boy. Oh my god, seven cents. Beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. Let's get out of here. We are in a spot where we can win this game. Easy. Like, this round should not be something that is difficult. It should not be something that is... Uh, painstakingly, you know, tear-renderingly hard or whatever, but there are some things to just make our life easier. Speed up, damage up, that kind of stuff. Some more defensive options in case if, uh, you know, my life goes tits up and, um, we get hit. The usual stuff for the lost. Okay, and here we got, nope, it ain't worth it. Okay, double check for a secret room? Didn't think so. Worth a shot, but didn't think so. Okay, Battery Baby just made that a lot easier for us because we were able to kind of see what was going on first. And these fat, fat tone flies. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, went down relatively easily as well. Okay, Golden Bombs leaves me feeling pretty well about myself. Let's go in here 
and use the golden bomb to blow this guy up and then these guys up. Oh god, it's greed. Why did greed have to show up? Like, out of all the things that had to show up, greed, you jerk. Don't get hit by the hoppers at this point. That would be the dumbest mistake you have made in this Let's Play probably ever. Outside of that one time that you, you know, walked into a temperance machine as the Lost. I mean, that was pretty bad. Okay, so the bed literally does nothing for us. So we're going to avoid it for now. I did not expect that. But hey, apparently it happens. Uh, that's also the second time this happened to me, so. Our prayers have been answered. Ladies and gentlemen, our... Cricket's head, how be his name, thy kingdom come, barf, 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 we've done it, we've done it, we got, we got the bark man, um, or at least the head of the bark man, uh, this is gonna allow us to do a ton more damage, like, we're gonna, like, the, the main thing here is that we want to be able to kill stuff fast enough that, um, it doesn't have the chance to kill us back, right, and that's, that's currently what's happening, like, this, this knife just needs to pass over people and they die, it's beautiful. Um, which leads me to believe we might even get to Shoal. Wouldn't that be nice? The Magician is not as good for us as a Teleport card, so we're going to avoid that for now. Um, okay. Potentially bad. Not what ended up being the case, however. Ended up being okay. Those flies and worms together, by the way, are just a nasty combination to have. Um, because... Wah, don't... Do not let the TNT barrels get touched by the knife. That's actually bad. I've died to that in the past. Okay, um, we now actually have access to probably the best setup I could have asked for. I mean, car battery is effectively useless. I'll grant you that. But now we're going to be dropping batteries a little bit more often. We get this item once per room. Like, we anytime we get hit, it just pops space bar. Pops space bar. Doesn't even, doesn't even matter. Unless if you like really want to risk it for the biscuit, you can just pop space bar and you're good. You'll be totally fine. You just need to trust in the glowing hourglass, which is really glowing. I'm noticing like that is an incredibly bright UI feature right now. Blood of the Martyr. Um, it's an all right damage up. And I know I said I want to damage up. I can roll a little higher though. Mom's bra is actually useless. I'm starting to believe that we should have gone for the for the thing. Uh, that is Speedball, because it's white, not Synth Oil. I'd rather go for Synth Oil. Ah, uh, nope. Little Gish ain't worth it either. Okay. We can't actually take that. In hindsight, we should have gone for the, uh, for the damage up. But Soy Milk here is actually stupid. There is nothing good about Soy Milk right now. So we're not going to take it that simple. I refuse to take an item that will actually kill our run. You Okay, survived. Didn't die. Blew up a TNT barrel without meaning to. Also didn't die for that. Good change of pace, all things considered. Because dying has been kind of a, a theme in all of these runs. Okay, Gertie. Did Dark Bum just give me a spirit heart? I mean, Dark Bum, I appreciate it. It's very kind, but it doesn't do much. Okay, Abaddon, which is effectively a damage up and a fear, and double cons double uh, double rewards. So yeah, we'll take both of those. That's fine. All right, head on down. We're slow right now. It's worth mentioning that we're slow, despite the fact that we have Mom's Knife. Acropolis, or uh, whatever it is, Depths 1, that's not fast. But, you know, it's we did have that Forget Me now. We are, like, we did do, like, an extra floor on top of everything else. So I'm not... I don't think this is necessarily bad play on our part so much as it was just, you know, we played and used items to get more items. I wonder how much of a difference that made, by the way, using that forget me now. Maybe we would have, like, Brimstone uh, Super Mom's Knife Lasers by now, if it wasn't for that. Who knows, right? Like, that's the, that's the beauty of this game, is that sometimes there's just, there is no knowing. Charge it up. Oh, God! Kill off the heathens. There we go. Beautiful. Easy enough. Once you get past the shit part. Okay, two keys. Great. We're not going to have a problem with consumables for like the rest of the game. So, you know, keep that in mind. Um, there is no pill that I want. 
So for depths one, I'm gonna go ahead and donate three cents. Back to our donation machine. Be kind to it. Be gentle with it. Okay, what we got here? It's a pill, doesn't matter. And then a bunch of other shit that does not matter. Also, this guy's just giving us spirit hearts, which is like, you know, adorable, but uh, Wheel of Fortune. Bomb it. And it gives us nothing. And I believe this is a secret room? Yep, okay, good. Raw Lever, thanks game, I appreciate it. Really helpful. Uh, this is definitely the, room, the, the run where Raw Lever, one of the best HP items in the game, because it gives you uh, two, HP, uh, two HP instead of just one, ends up being uh, one of the most useless pickups I've seen. And it's doubly insulting because like, really? Is that the one you wanted to get? Nope, I'm out, I'm out. Okay, I got hit by Browning. We have not seen our item room yet, so I'm going to go ahead and go back, get another battery charge out of this. And uh, find our way back in there, but when we don't get hit instantly by Brownie, yeah? I think we made the right choice. To be frank and honest with everyone here. Okay. Curse room. Should be easy. Oh god, we got hit. Don't get hit again. We could just teleport out, but I think we got this, and I'm just too lazy to hit the spacebar button. Beautiful. Okay. Let's not do the dumb move. Let's go out. Okay. Now, normally we'd be dead. We're going to teleport out. Grab the battery. Go back in. Have to redo the room. Because we got hit the last time. Now, we know the left one is Guppy's head. Do I keep Guppy's head? I have to assume that with the damage we're doing, that we're going to. Especially because we have access to car battery, 9 volt, like a bunch of stuff that really makes Guppy's head sing. It's, it's, it's too good not to. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Um, I'm expecting that we'll get a large number of flies, and then if we get enough flies, then we can, uh, hoo -hoo, um, kill off Brownie, like, almost instantaneously. Boink. See what I mean? We already have, like, a bunch. They all do a ton of damage. Okay. Bob's brain is something that we're gonna say goodbye to. Teleport on out of there. You know what? I'll buy this. That's fine. Okay, got tons of flies now. Let's go ahead and face our boss. We've got every item that, like, we got every room that matters in, in on this floor, so. Shit. Killed him. Good. Uh, this is the correct choice, I get the feeling. Go ahead, pop that. Growth hormones here speeds us things up nicely. And now I'm beginning to think maybe I should have picked up synth oil. I mean, any item would have been better than uh, soy milk from that one item room, but hey, you know, stuff happens. Why did I go back in here? This is a waste of a cent. This is revenge more than anything else. Thank you. Four cents. That's the value of my life. A uh, couple bombs. Good stuff. Okay, let's get out of here. Got all those. Lost all of our flies off of these shield assholes. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, great. Love that. That was amazing. Good news is that only took one play off of Guppy's head anyway, because car battery plus everything else that we have going for us is practically guaranteed uh, huge amounts of awesome. Curse of the Tower. Uh, don't think it does anything for us, so we might as well remove it from the item pool. And he's almost dead. And he is dead. Because we used melee. Like, we got we got up close and in his face, and it was beautiful. I'm actually really impressed. Okay, let's get back out there. Put ourselves back out there on the dating scene. You have the first impression that we look like we're mean, but then we're nice. Like sugar and spice. But, you know. I guess that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Uh, what do we got here? Yara. We're taking that with us for sure. There's a lot that can... There's a lot of good that can happen out of Yara. Um, specifically, on our shop. Uh, because we're not going downstairs. We're not going up to the cathedral and then proceeding to go to the chest. Where Yara normally goes and swings high. We're going to, um... Oh, fuck this room. Okay. I see an opening. I did it. Okay, good. Uh, item room and shop are still missing. We need to take those before we go down. We have no means of teleporting out. I can't take blue candle. As much damage as it is, it's not enough to make me feel particularly snug. Uh, compared to Guppy's head, which... Currently is astounding. Like, it's demented. The only thing that can make this better would be Hive Mind. But we're not going to get Hive Mind, so whatever. 
All right, we out. Beautiful. Let's get out of here. Um, item room. Set on south. Maybe we'll get something nice in our item room for once. Wouldn't that be a good change of <laughs> a good change of pace? He says. Uh, okay. Okay. Item room says Harlequin baby. You know, gotta give credit where credit is due. Harlequin baby did make my first run in the Binding of Isaac that was on screen and recorded a lot more fun. You know, where everything was beautiful and the girls are pretty. Something like that. Okay, we're t going down to Shoal. Taking the negative. It's Krampo. Look how many shits I give, Krampo. Look how many shits I give. Eat a dog, dang biscuit. Okay, good stuff. Lump of coal here is fine. Just damage up, depending on how far away we are from stuff. So we want to go for those long range shots wherever we can. And this guy, is he worth paying? Is he going? I don't know. I mean, if he gives us a map, it's certainly worth paying. Especially because this was the last, uh, Maybe one of the last chances we'll have to spend money in a long time, right? Like, money is practically useless after this floor. And oh, would you look at that? It's the bean! Best, best item. I don't know why we even, um, why we'd ever leave it behind. Okay, womb one. We do not have the super defensive item in the stopwatch that we did before. We have the super offensive items that we do in Guppy's head, which effectively is auto aim super kills. Wah! And the ability to spawn and kill stuff. An entire room of stuff with one push of our space bar. We're stronger than Skrillex. Okay, good stuff. Uh, and we, our flag on is doing great right now, actually. Now, for a trinket, Blister doesn't do anything, I don't think. So, might as well. Um, now, I know for a fact... But this white guy needs to die last, so he will die last. He'll do nothing for us, and we will keep going. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, we did it. Nice. Okay. The the guppy's head pickup, by the way, is absolutely astounding, and I'm so happy that we picked it up over the, hour, like the, the glowing hourglass. The glowing hourglass is fine. It did its job. It did was advertised on the tin. However, uh, it was not going to be as effective is having all of this working for us like this currently working for us is so bloody strong like it's it's demented this room would have been hell without the guppy's head pickup so you now i'm gonna let those slide for a little bit get my uh get another charge of guppy's head going and then go in we got hit don't get hit again thank you okay four keys yeah i don't, I don't think we need to worry about keys anymore we'll just spend them whenever we see the chance shit Good. Thank you, Guppy's Head, yet again, for being the offense that we need in this situation where defense is not an option. Um, okay, this is fine. Oh, come on. Please die. Thank you. Your turn. Die. Thank you. Okay. We're doing a ton of damage right now. Like, this is great, but it's just a little risky is all. Um, okay, there goes Chubb. Loki, hello. Loki is dead. He got tickled and then died. Now, this part, we're going to lose... A decent number of flies and it's a good thing too because otherwise we lose our life and losing our life here is not wise in the least still we managed to keep a good chunk of our flies holy shit um oh shit you're still alive not any longer haha -ha. okay we did not get hit there but just in case let's just do this okay i'm not worried about this this time no guppy item this time unfortunately out of the out of the red chest so we'll walk out and just content ourselves with that. It's uh, down here. Well, it's some stuff. Okay, and it's some stuff that's not very dead. Good. We need to kind of rebuild our fly economy again, but hey! Oh, God! If I had died to that, I would have been very upset. Okay, let's get out of here. Another silver heart on the ground it means a lot to me. Thanks, Dark Bomb. I appreciate it. Uh, were this any other run, this would be astoundingly good and a lot less scary. Like, I would be thrilled to be in the situation that I'm in. However, as the case is, uh, it's a slightly different uh, kettle of uh, kettle of fish. Different uh, pot of mac and cheese. And that's largely because with the Lost, and the Lost is scary, and the Lost is not so scary when everything dies in one, uh, one second. Great. Okay, HP up. That's gotta be like the third or fourth one we found this round, but okay, whatever. Oh, man. Okay. It lives. 
We've gotten this far, and we have to remember we're going down to Shoal. We're not going up to the chest. We're going down to Shoal. We got some sticky notes to make real here. We got to unlock, like, the soul or the mind or whichever one it is that you get for unlocking and killing other stuff. Like, the Lost has some of the best unlocks in the game when you get his stuff up, right? Like, some really good ones. It's, it's a shame that I'm so bad at the game that I haven't been able to get them yet, because my other runs in this game would have been so much easier if I had access to most of those things. Uh, at the same time, though. Blow this thing up, because I hate it. And we're still looking for a better trinket. So you know what? We're going to sit behind this thing and get some better trinkets. Only a sinner. You know what? I took enough of your shit in a previous episode. You don't need to keep... Look, why do you have to be so verbally abusive there? Only a... I was born wrong. That's not nice. Okay, we got a card. It's not like it's going to do very much, unfortunately. Magnus Faith does nothing. Um, Cancer... Uh, curved horn. Curved horn in particular would be really good right now because of our flies. Uh, what else would I want? Blind rage would be okay. I'm trying to think, what other trinkets would actually be helpful? Here? Watch battery would be okay. Um, uh, not ideal, but okay. Yeah, we're not gonna get anything. All right. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Thanks. Uh, cards are the hermits, the fool, death, the emperor. You know, the Emperor could be very helpful in speeding things up considerably. And it actually might be better for us than, uh, than Yera. You know what? I think that actually is the case. So we're going to pop I Can See Forever. We're going to go back. We're going to grab the Emperor. Because the Emperor gives us an entire floor off. And you know what? We could say, we, like, we, I think we can handle most of Shoal. The issue will be the Dark Room. And if we can handle the majority of the dark room by just, you know, signing off on it, saying, hey, well, you know, dark room, it was fun, nice knowing you and all, but I'm going to go ahead and just directly face the lamb, that would be ideal. Um, still a thing. Okay, they're all dead. Good stuff. Uh, and, like, that, that would just be really good. I mean, yeah, you can get some items on the dark room, but it's not worth it, I don't think. It's just not worth it. It can't be. Oh good, this is a very useful room. I'm so glad we saw this. Uh, Liberty Cap ends up being a little bit better for us than the other one, so let's stick with it for now. Also, I'm kind of annoyed that none, neither of those rooms was the gods. That would have been ideal. Not the case, but that's okay. Okay, we got a boss in here. Pin? Pin! Pins up, plural. And they're both dead. That was hard. Okay, cursed room. Uh, just in case if I got hit there. Let's go on out. Okay, take care of the spiders. Guppy item? No. Some pills instead. And I'm not going to take them. I disagree with taking any of those pills. Um, so there's nothing here. Where does my map say I need to go now? Also, Hush Fight just passed, so heh, don't think about that's going to happen. I think this is empty? Yeah, it's empty. South, then. Okay, so south is a way that we have not yet gone. He's dead. Wonderful. Good shot on my part. Oh, shoot. Everything died. Thank you, flies. The fact that we're relying so much on flies, though, leaves me a little bit perturbed. Because if we ever run out of fly economy, like we bump into more uh, shield face guys or whatever, then that's going to be bad. Okay, we also got hit because we walked on something we shouldn't have. Is there a red poop or something? Yeah, there was a red poop. I didn't even notice. Okay, overall, another dead end. So that was helpful. Uh, to the right. We have not been to the right yet. Okay, we got hit again. Pay attention. Thank you. Just quickly. Doop doop. Good stuff. Okay. Don't get hit. Oh god, we got hit. Uh, just pop it. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Kill it, kill it lives. Um, it's not worth losing the run to hold on to the Emperor for no reason at all. Uh, when, oh god, we've been hit. Kill her in one shot, please. Dodge through the fire and the flames. Shoot the epic. No! Oh! <sighs> well... Our battle with the Lost continues. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to do something else next time.